dann sehe ich es nicht. Hey, Erwin. Hey, Erwin. Hey, es ist <lacht> Hey everyone! Yeah. It's a pretty good model. Yeah. Really nice as you Still, it's pretty good. Like it hits and takes parts off as another hand. Like it puts like he he definitely models those faces. I don't know. Even think about back to the uh, yeah, the first one with Dead Fantasy, the ones where he actually used. Oh um, yeah, like the road to Rhode Island. Yeah, the Rhode Island, yeah. Right Rhode Island, J-Juice, Brandon. J-Juice was like a ninja that was yeah. like a Mortal Kombat stage. Yeah, we got those ones. That's good stuff. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. She's a ventriloquist. <laughs> it's usually about faster than this. <laughs> Whatever. It works, trust me. <laughs> I, I, I am really monkey, and believe me. I, some, people, some people pretend, you know, I'm, I'm the guy who does it. Believe me. No. I'm not a fake. Uh, got a little bit of time left. Have a little fun. I think I will release this soon. Maybe tonight. Oh, shit. That song is a Korean girl band, Nine Girls, and back when I made Dead Fantasy 2, I got Nine Girls in Dead Fantasy. Hey, why don't I make a music video? <laughs> made sense to me at the time. <laughs> Any other questions? Go ahead. Poser has an awesome cloth simulator, which, for certain things, it doesn't do like the, the thing, hang, like, it'll do Yuna's side thing or Tifa's or the skirts really well. Nice collision, very, you know, very, lots of good weight. You can plug, toy around with the dials, even. Um, the problem with it, though, it doesn't do certain forms of rigid dynamics where, like, if you looked at... Let's go forward. If you looked at, say, Yuna's thing right here, that had to be hand animated because it doesn't fall 100% to gravity. It's kind of got its own sense of uh, rigidness to it. But uh, Kasumi skirt, her, the tails that hang off of her, her skirt, her skirt, I like skirts, um, <laughs> are calculated in cloth they have in there because they flow around. There's another form of, uh, but on the other hand, Tifa's skirt is done through bone rigging, which it just uh, conforms to her hips and thighs. So these, on the other hand, are done through a simulator. I try to avoid using it. Like you'll notice in the other Dead Fantasies, I took off Yuna's ponytail and the sash that ties the side skirt to her because the more cloth simulations, the, the, longer, the, the longer your workflow. Uh, I did the same Dead Fantasy IV. I took the, the things off of Yuna's arms, which are iconic to her, but I felt like I made a judgment call saying, people might not notice this. No, I didn't. Um, but Poser has an awesome cloth simulator. Uh, I'll let this run while... Uh, did it, did it? I'll let this run while we talk, keep talking, but... It has a very good cloth simulator for collisions and stuff.
You see these tabs up here are the various useful rooms for you. The one that I stand most are post, material, clock, and setup. Hair, the poser has ways of calculating actual stranded hair. Looks like crap, don't use it. Just use video game hair, which for, like, for guys like Cloud, it's just really, it's just flat panels with hair painted on. That's how, that's how, that's how it's worked thus far, and people like that, and that's perfectly fine. Anyways, let's head to the cloth room. This thing here needs to be designed to collide with the rest of his body. We've got 600 frames in this. Let's just bring this down because I don't want this to run forever. Uh, New simulation. Collides against, and only the necessary parts. We know it's going to hit his hip, his abdomen, his butt, tongs, and his thighs. Run simulation. We want it to be not fold as much, not stretch as much, and go. <laughs> Any other questions while this thing is running? It'll be done in like a few seconds. Uh, he had his hand up first. I don't render. You see how this looks here? That's my movie. <laughs> Play that. Everyone's like, render, why render? Like I rendered in Dead Fantasy 1, rendered parts of Dead Fantasy 2. What do you get from rendering? You get self... You get... Uh, you get reflections, you get self-shadowing, you get bump maps, you get, like, you know, de uh, um, complicated speculars, etc. Right. Did you, uh, do you, I mean, when you were playing Final Fantasy X, were you worried about the self-shadowing? Were you worried about the, you know, it's... It's fine, like, plenty of games, PS2 games, have perfectly fine with their storytelling without self-shadowing bump maps or whatever. My, I do, I go through a long, oh, his feet were pinned again. Beautiful. But, you can see it working. Right there. And that's that. But yes, I don't render. I do my movies, I currently do my movies in Play Blast, and what I do is... If there needs to be self shadows, paint them on as if it was a game character. Um, I'll render maybe certain close ups, but I've been moving towards doing real time. The, the, the explanation here is that you know when most people think about making movies, they think about it's like it's like making a cake, right? You get your ingredients together, you animation, all uh, models, textures, etc. You pile, pile it all together, and when you feel like it's said and done, you shove it in the oven, you hit render, and you let it go, and maybe your movie will turn out right. Uh, each of the talents that go into it. Lighting, animation, modeling, all have to work in conjunction, but what if something was wrong? What if you change your mind? Playblast, on the other hand, which is what I use, is more like stir-frying, where you, you, know, you toss some stuff in and you're like, oh, this scene works, and suddenly you get a change, you know, act of God or whatever, and you're like, this need, needs to change. It comes out, literally, it's, it's what you're seeing in front of you is a Playblast. Um, Poser can let you anti-alias and add 2D motion blur in its preview form, the Firefly render, which does take some time, is decent, it does all the basic stuff, but again, it's a workflow difference. And that is all. That's of Dead Fantasy 3, 4, and 5 were almost entirely play blast. Dead Fantasy 2, about 20% play blast, the rest rendered. And I'm moving I guess I'm moving back into rendering some because I'm getting a little greedy and being more of an artist about the materials I'm using. But like so we can say I'm using a kind of like stir-fried cake in the future. <laughs> yeah. Question? What's up? Two questions. One, you kind of 